it was a wonderful spring day on the island of Sodor. But over on Duck's branch line, the workload had lightened up. So the Fat Controller had sent Oliver, Isabel and Dulcie to the Farquhar branch line to help test auto trains on the line. As he arrived, Thomas was leaving the station. Hello Thomas. But Thomas didn't hear and puffed on down the line with his train. Huh. Ah oh well, he must be busy. With that, Oliver set to work. Oliver worked well on the line, and he was soon reunited with Percy and Toby. And quickly made friends with Glynn. But Thomas was jealous. He watched Oliver, and he watched at how well he managed his coaches. Isn't Oliver great? He's been right on time all day. It's amazing how he's able to be in the middle of the train and still run on time. Big deal. He can pull a train. Anybody could do that. And for your information, Percy, I've only been late once today. You know what I think, Thomas? I think you're jealous. Me? Me? Jealous? I Don't be silly, Percy. Percy. Why would I be jealous of Oliver? I, I am the number one. This is my branch line. If anything, he should be jealous of me. I work wonderfully with Annie and Clarabel, and I don't need to be in the middle of the train to do it. If you excuse me, I must be going or I'll be late for the second time today. Oliver wouldn't be late. Shut up, Percy. And Thomas steamed crossly out of the station. That night, Oliver stayed in the sheds with the other engines. Hey, Oliver, you should tell Glynn the story of how you escaped from your old manager. Wait, really? Ooh, this certainly sounds interesting. Well, it all started when I was taking some coaches to Vickerstown. When I arrived, a fireman told my crew that we needed to test the turntable, but that turned out to be a trap, and two large diesels kidnapped me and took me to my old railway. My old manager told me he was going to cut me up, but just when I thought all hope was lost. Oh right, that's it. Some of us need to get some sleep around here, or I certainly can't do that with everyone talking and telling stories all night. With that, Thomas puffed crossly out of the sheds. What's wrong with him? Oh, don't worry about him. I'm sure he'll be fine. Now, Toby, can you tell us about that time that Philip thought you were a diesel? <laughs> all right, well, one day. Thomas chuffed along until he found another shed. At last, he found one. Silly talkative engines. Oliver comes to the line and all of a sudden he becomes king of the railway. I deserve to be the one to keep everyone awake with my stories. I'm the number one. Thank you for letting me vent my feelings. You know, you don't talk much, do you? Oh well. Good night. The next morning, Thomas woke up late. He raced as fast as he could to collect his coaches. When he arrived at Farquhar, he was already ten minutes late. But the worst was yet to come. He heard the guard's whistle. Thomas felt his wheels start to move. Suddenly, he realised what way he was going. What the? Driver, we're going the wrong way! Thomas puffed slowly backward down the line. Suddenly, Thomas felt his buffers hit those at the end of the platform. He ran through them and came to a stop with his back wheels off the track. 
his driver quickly shut off steam. Luckily, none was hurt, and Percy soon arrived to pull Thomas back onto the track. Are you okay, Thomas? Uh, I think so. Sorry, Thomas. It seems I accidentally left your reverser in reverse by mistake. Percy shunted Thomas over to the shed so that the workman could look him over. Thank you, Percy. You're welcome, Thomas. Now, I've got to get back to work. I'll see you later. So long. Percy puffed away to collect Thomas's train. Thomas sat there in the sheds all morning, watching as the engines did their work. At last, he was allowed to return to work. But since Percy was taking Annie and Clarabel, Thomas had to do Percy's work. Thomas arrived at the quarry to collect Percy's train, as dark clouds loomed above. Toby was there, helping Mavis with the trucks. Hello, Thomas. Glad to see you're okay. Thanks, Toby. I'm here to collect Percy's trucks. Oh, all right. Here you go then, Thomas. I'd hurry and get these delivered. There's a storm coming. Thomas was coupled to the trucks and quickly puffed out of the quarry. quickly along the line, but not quick enough to outrun the rain. It poured harder and harder. Lightning lit up the sky. Meanwhile at Dryer Airfield, there was trouble. The storm had gotten so bad that it knocked out the power at the airfield. Suddenly, a voice came over the radio. Mayday, Mayday. This is Sodor 417 to Dryer requesting emergency landing. Sodor 417, we currently do not have power here. Can you divert to Sodor Airport? Negative. We don't have enough fuel. Just then, Thomas came puffing past when he saw a workman waving a red flag. What's wrong? The signal ahead is red. Oliver is coming through with his passenger train. Oh, joy. Jim, have you figured out a way how to get the runway lights on yet? I've tried the generator, but it seems to be out of petrol. Excuse me, sir, but uh, what's the problem? We don't have power at the airfield and a plane needs to come in, but we don't have any landing lights. Thomas thought for a minute. Suddenly he saw Oliver coming around the curve. Then it hit him. Th that's it! That's it! Oliver! Oliver! Oh, hello Thomas. Is something wrong? Yes, the airfield doesn't have any power and a plane needs to make an emergency landing. I see. Well, what do you suggest we do? We put our lamps down on the runway to light it up so the plane can land. Are you sure, Thomas? Yes, Oliver. Now let's do it, quickly! Their drivers quickly grabbed all the lamps and gave them to the workmen. They put them along the stretch of runway and lit them up. Thomas and Oliver waited and watched. Suddenly, there was the plane. It came down and it landed safely on the runway. Yay! Great work, Thomas. Thank you, Oliver. I'm sorry for being so rude to you the other day. I was just a bit jealous of you. It's just everyone adored you when you first arrived and you seemed to be an all-round better engine than I was. I guess I just I lost it. Thomas. 
there is no reason to be jealous. I work well with Isabel and Dulcie because I was built that way. Just like you work well with Annie and Clarabelle and are great at shunting. Everyone is great in their own little way. Thanks, Oliver. Thanks for helping, you two. We've gotten the power back on now, so here are your lamps and your signals are clear. So you better head on your way. Oh, well, see you later, Oliver. So long, Thomas. With that, Thomas and Oliver puffed away with their trains. A few days later, it was time for Oliver to return to the Little Western. Thanks for helping out, Oliver. Come back any time. Thank you. And you are all welcome on the Little Western any time as well. Welcome back, Oliver. Did you have a good time? I did indeed. I rescued a plane, made some friends and reunited with some old ones. But it's nice to be home. And Oliver told them about his time on Thomas's branch line. <laughs>